a lot of people's hairdo. I sure do. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Mana, and welcome to Alternative Unicorn, a weekly show where I discuss spirituality, mental health, and arifari hippie stuff. Today in Alternative Unicorn, I'm going to be giving you another tarot reading. Today we are going to communicate with our angels and see what kind of messages they have for us this week. This should be the first week in August, so a nice little energy shift. And let's see what they have to say to us today. So like last week, if some of you haven't watched these tarot readings before, I've never done one online, I just want to start by mentioning to you to quiet your mind. You're going to have two selections to choose from, so make sure you go with your gut instinct and pick the card that you think is going to be the best read for you. And your options are either card A or card B. So whatever one stuck out to you first, Go ahead and you can fast forward. If you are card B, I'll leave a number right here of where you can find the starting of card B. And last week I heard a lot of people say that both cards resonated to them so they watched the whole thing. If both cards, if you feel like both cards are for you, watch the whole thing. That's fine. There are no rules. But for the rest of you, card A or card B. Okay, so for those of you that chose card A, today I'm reading out of the Archangel Oracle cards. I really love these angel cards. It's a good way. I believe in angels. I believe in fairies and all kinds of great stuff. And I really like using these cards sometimes um, because they're very straightforward messages from your guides, from your angels. You can call upon them for advice anytime. They're always listening and they're just waiting for you to call on them. For those of you that selected card A, tonight your reading is Archangel Gabriel would like to talk to you and it's called creative writing. So for if you felt called to choose card A, the creative writing card um, for Archangel Gabriel, this is a message to you that you are really being called to take time to write down your thoughts. Now I don't know if you are creative writers or aspirant writers, it doesn't really matter whether or not you're a writer. Archangel Gabriel is encouraging you to take the time every day to sit down and write your thoughts. Um, this can be journaling, writing a story, getting your thoughts out, writing some poetry, writing music is also writing. So Archangel Gabriel is going to help you to tap into your creative side to make time for yourself. I think that's one of the things that's one of the most important factors about the creative writing card is not just about writing, it's about are you taking the time in your day to be creative. So if you selected this card, it means right now you're currently not and that this will really help you sort out your thoughts, figure out your ideas. If you're feeling stuck or blocked, write everything out. I've mentioned it out on this on this channel before and like when you suffer from depression or anxiety and this goes for everybody out there not with people just with depression and anxiety but writing down and going back and reading your thoughts is a really great way to clear your own energy and figure out where the heck are you coming from uh, how do you actually feel about situations and oftentimes when we write we give energy and light to the things that we're suppressing and sometimes once we write them out on paper they don't need to be so present anymore so it's a really good opportunity to get everything out of you and then see what is left what how do you feel after you've written something down i'm being called to tell those of you out there who have a negative reaction to writing there is no right way to write there is nothing you can't say anything wrong it's your own stuff you don't have to share this with people. It's not going to be published. This is just for you. Creative writing is just for you. An opportunity for you to emote spiritually, emotionally, creatively. Get stuff out of your head. Get out of your head. Get things on paper. Doodle. Do something joyous. Just get to some paper. Get to some paper and do it. Uh, you can call on Angel Gabriel to help you make time for yourself. This falls under the lineage of self-care. This falls under uh, being good to our inner child because it's incredibly creative and therapeutic. And so if you pull this card, it means you need to take this time for yourself. You need a creative outlet and you need to write out your thoughts. You need to see where you're at. You need to read through them. You need to make the time. 
it's incredibly important and it will absolutely help you. This is a great tool. Um, I do this all the time. So if you're being called to this, I really, really encourage you to do it right after watching this video. Get a glass of your favorite thing, some tea, some coffee, some wine, sit out in your favorite spot, take a journal, take some paper. If you don't like paper, take your computer and you just sit out and write. Let things flow through you. Don't analyze yourself. Don't even observe it at first. Just let it out and see where you end up. I bet that it's going to be very positive for you. So, right, right guys. For those of you that selected card B, Archangel Michael would like to speak to you tonight and this is a very powerful card and this card is called Remember Who You Are. The Remember Who You Are card means that somewhere along the way, whether that's today or yesterday or this has been a long time coming, you have forgotten what a magnificent creature that you are. This is actually also a creative card, so it's it's weird tonight that the energies are all around being creative, which makes sense in our astrology this month. It's time to do some creative work. It's right before the retrograde, so it's time to put these creative energies into use. And this Remember Who You Are card from Archangel Michael is also about uh, creative spirituality and what it means to emote creative things in in terms of our spiritual process. Now, if you drew this card, Archangel Michael wants you to know that you are a beloved child of God. You are loved. If you were created by this beautiful, benevolent creator and these angels and this creator loves you, then you are yourself perfect and loved and special and beautiful. Um, there's a spiritual saying in the Baha'i faith that says when you see someone and you love someone, the love that you have for them is a reflection of what you love about God because you're loving a creation. And that applies to you. So this remember who you are means remember that you are divine child. You are blessed. You are loved. You are special because you are here. The fact that you were created means that you are worth loving, that you have divine perfection in you. You have holy qualities of magnificent, luminescent, beautiful things. And so if you're called to read this or you chose card B, it means that maybe you've been too hard on yourself lately. Are you being too critical? Are you being mean to yourself? Are you looking at other people and seeing what they're doing and think that they're doing something more right than you or that other people are more beautiful than you are or that you don't offer anything this card is asking you to look at yourself and remember that you are loved and you are special and you are wonderful and this is such an airy fairy thing to say and it and it's a very typical thing for me to say but it's 100 percent true remember that who you are is beautiful and perfect and you don't need to compare yourself to others stop looking at what other people are doing Focus in on what makes you a unique and beautiful divine creation. You are loved. You are wonderful. Um, and by you being creative, you are sharing a part of yourself with the world. So here's the second part of that card. The first is remember that you are a child of God and that you're magnificent and amazing. And the second part of that is express that um, Archangel Michael is really good at bringing in that energy that you don't have when you're feeling really down and you can't um you don't have like the courage to fight or the courage to like break out and do something new he's gonna help you he's going to help you remember how special you are help you remember that you're loved help you to remember that you're unique and help you to remember that what you do matters and it helps impact other people so if you were drawn to card b you have something to offer the world and to those around you that is an important part of our development as spiritual beings. When you withhold yourself creatively, when you withhold your love, when you withhold your expression, you are also withholding the opportunity for someone else to grow and for you to grow as well. So being creative and putting yourself out there, putting your energy into an outward energy, something that is putting it out and not just holding it in really tight here. And for some of you, I know that can feel really counterintuitive, but putting your energy out is a way that you will help others have 
breakthroughs. It's a way that you are going to contribute to the energy that the world is feeling. And so what kind of energy do you want to be putting out? But yes, you are a beloved child of God. Remember who you are. Remember that what you do is amazing. And even if you think it's stupid or you have any kind of weird thoughts about it, that is just your inner critic. It is not real. Um, nobody thinks worse about ourselves than we do. We are our own worst enemies, our own most horrible critic, and we are the ones that will stop ourselves from doing amazing things. So do not get yourself down in the dumps. Do something creative. If you had that idea, if you've been thinking about trying something new and putting your effort into something outward, now's the time to do it. You are being called to express yourself and let your radiant light shine through. So I know this seems like a little bit more of a shorter read. These cards are a little bit more straightforward than the Zen tarot deck, which can get really deep and complicated. I wanted to do an Archangel reading this week because I felt really called. They wanted to be in the space and they had a few things to share and both of them had to do with creativity. So I hope that you can carry that into this new month of August. Carry that with you this month. This is a great month to be productive creatively, a great month to start new projects and to try something you've never tried before. So both cards A and B, you've got some creative energy behind you. So that means everybody that's watching, get up and do something creative. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you guys like this. Like and subscribe. I think I'm going to make this kind of a weekly thing. Um, I do it for myself. It's kind of like prayer and meditation. And I love hearing what the angels have to say. So, again, thank you for being here. Light and love, guys. And I'll see you next week.